pictures. I'm just using Photoshop CC 2014 here. And what I'm going to do is going to warp live text. I'm going to use a perspective warp, but I'm just going to create even more extreme text than I've done in previous videos. So, right. First thing, just go to Photoshop, got this text. What I want to do, convert to a smart object. So, smart objects, convert to smart object. So now all that live text is in one smart object. Now go to edit, perspective warp. Right, love to see that uh, go, but uh, anyway, maybe there's a preference. I don't know, I haven't investigated. So, right, just go down there, just click there, I'm gonna drag that across, and down there, just to get the pins to join, just becomes one sort of perspective warp all across. So I can just go down there, that joins there, down there, create another one, and one more after that. Okay, so that joins. One thing that's really quite annoying, it sometimes it gets it sort of crossed and then it will make it hard, so you have to go back. So anyway, okay. Now click warp, and I can warp it in all kinds of directions, see like it's over overlaps sometimes. So you can distort it there. It's still like say live text, so you can actually modify the text at any point. I'm gonna distort that a bit there and right crunch that in. And of course you can still go back to the other one there and stretch that out. Okay, click OK. Now what I want to do next, I'm actually just gonna to go to a layer. Smart objects convert to smart object. That's the entire warp and the text. Now I'm just going to go back to edit, perspective warp, and I'm going to do it the other direction. So, and of course, I could do this a number of times. So I could just go over and over. So I'm just going to just go there, and just there. And I say sometimes what happens, this gets connected to another pin, and then you seem to have a problem. I'll just drag that down there and that one especially when it's against text it's very hard to actually see the that little dot I wish they'd actually made it a different color would be nice maybe red or something make it a bit stand out a bit better or maybe recolor the pins right okay so I've just got that now I'm going to warp click that and now I can warp that whole design so I can really just crunch that text in and crunch that text in and uh, maybe distort it out that way distort it out that way okay click OK so once you've actually done that now this text it's still live I mean what you could do with this approach by just doing obviously multiple grids multiple you could actually create obviously design it maybe text to be in the shape of a different object maybe face whatever and certainly starts to look like a face even now An unusual face but a design that you could actually manipulate the text so let's say it's still live so you can actually just double click on these just modify the text so if you want to suddenly think oh hang, I don't want six seven eight nine I actually want something else there you could put a b c d instead so uh, anyway hope you found this uh, object uh, smart object uh, tutorial of interest